What's going on everybody? Today we're doing Thunder Kiss 65 by White Zombie. We're going to be doing the second riff that I wanted to start teaching. If you missed the first riff, which is the... I got that one with more of a beginner style. I'm going to leave the link to that one below. So go ahead and grab your acoustic or your electric and let's get started. Okay, so before I forget, this lesson is in standard E tuning. And uh, let's go ahead and get started. So, first thing we do is we're going to start with this open E on the 6. As that's ringing, we're going to go into this augmented 9. And I like to give it a little bit of vibrato or just straight. Now, that's a really cool chord to play, this E augmented 9. And um, before I teach it to you, I want you to get used to just snapping into it. And of course, well, how can I practice if I don't know it? Just, just hold on a second. So, when you go from the E... You want to snap into that chord. If you're not used to playing this funky chord, just notice how my fingers just kind of find this, the spots after a while. That's what you want to get used to before you move on to anything else on this lesson. Okay, now obviously you, you can practice as a whole, but the idea is if you can't get this chord, the riff isn't going to work. And what's cool about this chord is you could throw this in with like an E minor. And it works really good. It's kind of like a Jimi Hendrix chord, if anything. So let's learn it. We're going to start on the 5th string. <coughs> Excuse me, I'm choking. I'm dying over here. So 5th string E note, which is going to be fret uh, 7. I use my middle finger. First finger is going to be string 4, fret 6. Third finger is going to be string 3, fret 7. And then the pinky, which is what I feel gives it the tone is going to be over here on fret 8, string 2. So we got... Those notes combined is what makes it an E augmented 9. I almost forgot the name for a second. So we got this open E. Now, this is where it's up to opinion on how you want to do the next part. Some people go... Where they slide it up one fret each, and what I'm talking about is we take finger one, we're gonna be fret five, string five, move to six, move to seven. So when we go like this, open, E augmented nine, you you stop that note, and you go into that like that, just like that. That's exactly how it's played. So or not exactly, but this is the debatable part. I prefer to do it as a power chord. So you still have your first finger fret five, string five. One fret up, two fret up, st one string up is going to be the third finger fret uh, seven, string four. And from here you just hold this power chord shape and you move them up the exact same amount. So this one's just going up like this. And this one together. And so that'll sound like this. It's really up to you. I prefer if, I, if I'm feeling like rocking out and playing really heavy, I'll do it with that. Notice it's only one strum. Or, it's really tomato, tomato in my opinion. Don't get hung up on that. If you know you need more help with the power chord or playing with two fingers at one time, try it with the power chord. If you feel comfortable and you like the way it sounds with one, that's fine too. Okay, so we got back to open E, back to E9, augmented, to the last part, where we talked about palm mutes in the first section, but just in case you need that as a review if you didn't watch the first part, a palm mute is going to be where you use the side of your hand, I use usually the pinky area, and you find the muting area where the highest tension before you hit your bridge, or in my case my Floyd Rose, floating tremolo. Uh, where uh, you get this hum sound. Watch, I'm going to put my hand down over here and just pluck it until I find that nice hum. You're going to put your hand and barely touch it, barely touch it, kind of like where it has the highest point of tension, and you get the nice hum. So we got this. Now we're going to give it a down-up pluck for the palm mute. Power chord, which is going to be for string... 6, fret 5 with the first finger, 1 fret, 2 frets up, 1 string up, which is string 5, fret 7. So, so palm mute twice, down up. 
palm mute again, down up. Now three and five, same strings. So string six, string five, finger one, finger three, uh, fret three, fret five. So we got. Now, putting that all together, and then I'm gonna give you some ideas how to break this down, just to practice this, especially if you're a beginner at this. And that's it, that's the whole riff. First of all, as a beginner, if you can hold it just right there at that speed, do that for a week. Do that for two weeks. However long it takes you to feel comfortable where you're not straining your muscles or feeling where this chord isn't snapping properly. If you need to, you can even just work this. Remember, as a teacher, my idea is to give you the best way to teach yourself, at least on YouTube it is, because I really can't answer your questions here. But the thing is, is you gotta just learn to break these things down where they feel comfortable and they're not forced, because your ability will grow naturally. When you force it, you strain muscles, you, you get frustrated easier. You gotta understand it's a development through time. So, just gonna noodle around, give you the ideas now. Remember, you could do all that. Just like that, you can also work in the or or if you have trouble with all three. Okay, and then now the palmy part. You can work it like that. You can also just work on the palmy. Until it starts to feel very natural. Notice, I could just kind of play, pull that out when I want it. Like I said, this is part of the E minor scale, so if I do it over here. You can kind of just learn to start throwing it in there. Whatever you want to do with that, okay? All right, everyone, that's it for this guitar lesson video. Hope you enjoyed it, as always. And if you need more help with this song, other songs, if you feel stuck in your guitar playing, I am a Skype guitar instructor. You can read what my current guitar students have to say about my Skype guitar lessons at mountainsideguitar.com. Thanks for watching this video, and I'll see you on the next guitar lesson video.